Tonight's campaign comment, Joe the Plumber is apparently affecting about one voter in a hundred, meaning the ratio of John McCain's references to him to the impact on the race is about 14 billion to one. In the breaking news, Joe turns out to be in it for the money. That's next, but first time for Countdown's number two story, tonight's worst persons in the world. The bronze to the New York City Council, which today voted to overturn term limits, which would thus allow Mayor Michael Bloomberg and two-thirds of the city council to run for re-election when they otherwise could not legally have done so. My God, if that isn't constitutional, it's the most obvious conflict of interest in the world. The term limits were approved twice by the voters of the city. The courts will doubtless decide if there could be possibly any legal basis, but obviously council members have no ethical basis for overruling the voters and doing so to further their own political careers. And Mayor Bloomberg's argument is that he is irreplaceable during a time of economic crisis. It's nonsense. You are irreplaceable? Then stay on as an unpaid advisor to your successor. I'm sure he'll be happy to have your help. Otherwise, the people said get out. So get out. The runner-up Republican Congressman Robin Hayes of North Carolina, in a warm-up act for McCain over the weekend, he said, quote, liberals hate real Americans that work and accomplish and achieve and believe in God. Then he denied saying it, and his spokeswoman said he, quote, absolutely denies making the comments. Then an audio tape turned up of him saying it. Now, in a debate with his opponent, he is denying he denied it. Quote, I did not deny what I said, but the context in which it was presented to us. Congressman, if you need any help with that shovel, you, know, you seem to be doing a great job just digging yourself in deeper and deeper. I, sorry, I wouldn't dream of interfering. But our winner, Billow the Clown, confronted on a radio show, his own, by a caller named Jay from Belfont, Pennsylvania, about John McCain's relationship with domestic terrorist G. Gordon Liddy. He told his radio listeners, Gordon Liddy did, how to shoot ATF agents, and he drew up plans to bomb the Brookings Institution, and on whose show McCain has frequently appeared, and whom McCain just said last week he was proud to know. Jay added, Gordon Liddy also held a fundraiser for him, McCain, in 1998, so he knows. Billow cut him off there. Okay, whoa, 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 that's 20 years ago. Whoa, 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 it's 20 years ago. If you want to make a comparison to Liddy sending the guy some money and holding a fundraiser 20 years ago, I mean, come on, it's ridiculous. As Jay from Belfont so neatly replied, quote, it's 10. Bill the Clown, on whose show it just never adds up, tonight's worst person in the world. <laughs>